Hey everyone, how's it going? Are you having a good day? I am having such a great day. Chief and I went to the library and we had such a good time. There's so many amazing books out there. And this is one I saw that I just thought, I love this book. It's called The Fish of Small Wishes, but it's really smart. So let's see what you think. All the kids were playing, but Kiki Karpovich didn't join them. She walked up the sidewalk, pretending not to mind. Look how beautiful the colors are. And it must be a beautiful day because everyone's outside playing. Later, when the other kids had gone inside, the street was quiet. No cars were coming. The asphalt glistened like water in the heat. Kiki saw something, something moving something golden. Do you see that something golden there? It's right here. A giant fish! Eyes round as marbles. It moved its dry orange lips. See here? And it said, help. It seemed to say, oof. Kiki picked up the fish. She ran toward home, across the courtyard, up the stairs, through the door, and into the bathroom. She dropped the fish in the tub and cranked on the water. Maybe she was too late. But then, the fish, glimmering, shimmering, it swam. It looked up. It burbled bubbles. The bubbles popped quiet, watery words. It said, thank you. Kiki blinked, then slowly she touched her lips to the water and said, you're welcome. The fish blew more bubbles. As each bubble broke, Kiki heard more words. I want to grant you a wish to thank you for saving me. A wish granting fish? Mouth to the water, Kiki said. I wish, I wish I had lots of friends. Her words bubbled, floated down and popped one by one. The fish's tail twitched a golden fan. I'm sorry, you see, I am a fish of small wishes. Your wish is too big. You'll have to think of something smaller. A smaller wish? Kiki looked away so the fish wouldn't see her disappointment. After all, it wasn't the fish's fault that it was just a fish of small wishes. She went outside and down the stairs. She sat on a bench in the courtyard. Later, when the sun had set, Kiki returned to the fish who looked bigger. Hello, said the fish. Did you think of a smaller wish? Yes, Kiki said. I wish I weren't so shy. Ah, said the fish, and it looked sad. I am only a fish of small wishes. I'm sorry. That wish is still too big for me. By morning, the fish had grown again. Kiki went to the courtyard and began to dig. But the, dra but the day grew hot and the ground was hard. By lunchtime, Kiki had blisters. Inside, the fish of small wishes swam in slow circles. Now it was almost too large to turn. Oh my. I can't do it. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, said Kiki. I thought of a small wish. Oh, good, said the fish. Can you make a deep hole in the courtyard? I'm sorry, said the fish. I know that must seem like a small wish, but it's bigger than you realize. The fish, Kiki thought, looked a bit embarrassed. That's okay, she said. If the fish of small wishes couldn't help her, she needed to find help someplace else. Kiki was still shy. Words rose like bubbles in her throat and she almost swallowed them. But she thought of the golden fish growing too big for the tub. There was no time for shyness. Hey, anyone want to help me dig a hole? 
All the kids came to help. Three brought shovels, one had a trowel, and two offered spoons from their kitchen. They dug all afternoon. And when their siblings came up to see what was going on, and when their parents came home that evening, someone had the idea to roll out a grill. Someone thought to grab their stereo. Someone brought a big sheet of plastic. Someone had an old fish tank pump. A bunch of little kids found rocks and stones. Two bigger kids held the hose and a third cranked it on. Wow. At last, Kiki tipped the fish of small wishes into its brand new pond. The fish swam big loose loops. It flipped its golden tail and splashed the kids who gathered around. The burgers sizzled and smoked and smelled so good. Everyone laughed and danced and sang loud and happy. Kiki felt sort of shy, but she also felt really proud and happy. Maybe even a little bit like dancing and singing too. And in the pond, the fish of small wishes swam and sparkled and shone watching the girl whose wishes had all come true. Look at this, Kiki got her wish. She's got friends and a loud voice and she's not too shy. What a great book. I hope you liked it as much as I did. Have a great day and we'll see you really soon, okay? Bye.